Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create custom name servers for your reseller account. So what this means is when you sign up for web hosting and if we go to rootpal.com, if you sign up for WordPress hosting, after you sign up, rootpal will provide you with custom name servers that you can use to point your domain to connect to the Plesk server. So that's how it works, you know. Um, it's an easy way to connect your domain name to the hosting account by just changing the custom name servers to RootPal's custom name servers. And so RootPal, you know, you might get name servers that say um, ns1.rootpal.com or ns2.rootpal.com and you put those name servers in for your domain and it points to the Plesk server and then it starts using the Plesk DNS instead of using your domain registers DNS because you can always use your domain registers DNS um, instead of using uh, Plesk DNS and just point the records and copy the DNS records from Plesk, which you can find from right here. And you can copy those records and use, just use your domain names. Uh, you'd copy these records under DNS settings and you put them at your domain registrar, but that's a lot of work. You got to copy all these records. You got to make sure everything's working. Um, so it's better just to use, it's better just to change your name servers to custom name servers. However, as a reseller, you want to give private name servers or custom name servers or whatever that you create to your customers to make it easy for them to point their domains to your reseller account at Plesk. So to do this, it's actually very simple. You just have to go to wherever you bought your domain name and you have to register um private name servers or custom name servers because if you and it, it's not always called custom name servers it's not always called private name servers every domain registrar has their own way of calling it something um one and one calls it subdomains right uh enom calls it private name servers so if we go to enom right here um, I want my clients to start using Rudy DNS. So I want to create ns1.rudydns.com and ns2.rudy.dns.com. And I want my customers to use that to point to my Plesk panel. So it's actually super simple with Enom. You just go to domains, you go to advanced tools, register a name server, and we would just type in ns1 dot rudydns.com and the IP address of the server, which it's this server. So this is my, I go to home. You could see the server IP is going to be under one of the domains. And this is the server IP. So what's great is if you buy a dedicated IP address, you get your own IP address for all your domains and your customers. And so you'd create custom name servers pointing to your dedicated IP address, but this is a shared IP address on the server. So I'm just gonna put in that and we're gonna register that name server. So I've registered it and I'm gonna register one more And I'm gonna register this one as well. And that's basically it. I mean, it's very simple. So now if I wanted to add my domain name to Cloudflare, rudydns.com, I could do that. And I would create A records that aren't proxied with Cloudflare. So you have to make sure, you know, these records right here you, I would create another A record just to be safe uh, that says NS1 
you know, the IP address of the server and not proxy them. However, Enom handles the, uh, the name servers. So you will need to register it with your domain registrar because adding this A record isn't enough. Some domain registrar companies um, won't register it and it's not glued to the domain. So, you know, some people might say, oh, if I want, you know, custom name servers and I want to use Cloudflare, I have to pay for it and I have to upgrade to the business package. That's not true. You don't have to do that. You could just use Enom, register those name servers there and it should work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test to see if it works now. And this is a different company with a different domain name. And I'm going to add those name servers and I'm going to hit apply and let's see if it works. So we're waiting. Boom. So there you go. I mean, now my customers are using my Rudy DNS name servers that I created at Enom. And uh, I don't even have to add the domain here, right? Uh, and I can, I can add Rudy uh, DNS.com to my plus control panel. Uh, but let me go back into the DNS right here. So if I go into the DNS server settings and I want to use custom name servers and I don't want to use uh, Enom, right? I want to point these to Cloudflare. Um, I want to point it to Cloudflare. I want to point it to custom name servers or whatever. I can still do this and these name servers right here will still work because I created them using this advanced tool right here in Enom. So that's how you do it. That's how you, you have to go to domain, your domain registrar, whoever you use. You know, if you use GoDaddy, there's a way to do it at GoDaddy. And there's a tutorials to do it at GoDaddy, I'm sure. Um, so, you know, if you have GoDaddy, GoDaddy private name server, and they probably have a tutorial to do how to do that. There you go. How to register private name servers with GoDaddy. And, you know, there, they call it host names. And it's a host name and an IP address, and that's how you do it. So basically, um, every different, you know, domain registrar or domain registrar, such as GoDaddy, internet.bs, Enom, they all have different ways of doing it. You just have to ask them uh, and find out and look it up online. Um, if you buy a domain through RootPal, we can do it for you. We can create that, those custom name servers for you and you don't have to worry about, you know, if your domain company supports it or whatever, we make it super easy. You just ask us where to point the IP address to and the name servers uh, and you're good to go. And you know, you always, you don't have to use NS1 and NS2. Those are just standard default ones that a lot of people use. You can use um, some clever ones like RootPal uses giga.rootpal.com and we use, you know, maybe betty.rootpal.com. We like to take uh, the unique name, just like, you know, how Cloudflare does it. We like how Cloudflare does the uh, payton.ns.cloudflare. We don't add another uh, dot, you know, but we'll give it names that, um, you know, like viva.rupal.com instead of NS1156. But whatever, whatever you want to do, you can do and call it whatever you want. So that's pretty much it. It's super simple. You can still use Cloudflare as a DNS provider. You can use um, basically any, you can use your domain registrar as a DNS provider. You can point your custom name servers, but there is an extra step. Just remember, that you have to register the name server or register the host name or whatever your domain company calls it, right? So that's pretty much it. If you have any, if you if you're still having issues, you don't know if your domain registrar supports it or not, contact RuPal uh, and we'll help you set it up with your domain company. Thank you.